you up, Margaret. But your toes are like ice. Don't push me out. <laughs> there are always a few of us in one bed in winter. The bedrooms were so cold because the fire was downstairs. And you'd have spent all night huddled in one room. When it was time to go up to bed, the iciness at the top of the stairs used to hit you. Although we had a nicely cold bed to get into, we always had each other to keep warm. If you couldn't get warm, you'd change places. <coughs> Margaret, if I can't get warm, please let me switch, please. All right then. And then my sister would let me get in the warm spot. <laughs> you see, the warm spot was in the middle. And if it was your turn, you'd get all the warmth from the people either side of you. <laughs> Sometimes we'd shout downstairs, Mum, we're cold! The coat was used as a blanket. We had these two large army overcoats that my dad got hold of, and they used to sit on top of everything else. There you go, keep each other warm with that, that's it. That's all we had though, and it wasn't just drafts we had to worry about. The house would be so damp all the time. Sometimes it would be that cold, we'd have to breathe like mad just to get the bed warm. <laughs> and our mother used to say, keep breathing down those bedcloths. Go on, keep breathing, I promise it'll make you warmer. In the morning, I used to just lie in bed pretending I was smoking my breakfast so cold. It just looked like smoke. <laughs> I learned to smoke at an early age. Come on, love. Oh, that smells nice. See, my wife always had a pot of bones boiling on the fire. She made a lovely bone broth with vegetables. You see, everyone had their own allotment back then. And I'd often go in there and get a nasty surprise. Hey, love, someone's been and pinched my carrots. But what he didn't know, it was us kids pulling up Dad's carrots, breaking off the greens and eating them. The dirt as well. Dinner time! <laughs> Our parents always made us eat suet puddings. We lived on suet puddings in our house. And when our choice was thin, he'd say, That girl's wasting away. She needs more pudding dinner. <laughs> <laughs> we ate steak pudding, suet pudding, steak and kidney pudding, treacle pudding. Mm. They were so thick and heavy. I mean, you could have sunk if you went swimming after one of my mother's suet puddings. I hated Mondays. I'd get back from school for lunch and there'd be the smell of the boiler and of stew. Now, if there's one thing I hated most as a child, it was my mother's stew. I don't like stew, Mom. Eat it or go without. <laughs> With nothing else, if you're hungry, you'll eat it. And I'd go back to school hungry. <laughs> Now the one thing I remember about winter was a fox, or pea soupers as we used to call them. Now a pea soupers is when everyone in the area is burning all their fuels, which creates a lot of smoke. The smoke would get uh, trapped behind the low cloud, which made the air around us terrible to breathe. You literally couldn't smell or see anything. My mother used to wrap herself up. You couldn't see her. <laughs> <laughs> she used to pull her hat down right over her face and wrap her scarves around her mouth so she, you could only just see her eyes. She hated the fog. I spent two hours doing this washing and now it's covered in soot. Now bonfire night was one of my favourite nights in winter. It used to start ages before. We'd go all around collecting straw for the guy and boxes for the fire. Wherever the children went, they'd be shouting, Penny, Penny for the, the guy! guy! Penny, Penny for, for the guy! guy! Another thing they used to do was build a grotto. First they'd start by marking, marking a square out on the floor and filling it with leaves and flowers. They'd come to me and ask for some trinket, and they'd shout, Penny for the grotto! Penny for the grotto! And we'd have to throw a penny in and take them back out. And we would add all this to our pocket money and use it to buy fireworks for the whole street. <sighs> we'd all come together around a big bonfire, and the men would go and collect wood and take it in turns to keep the fire going. There were bonfires everywhere. It was like Napoleon had invaded the place. I'd say bonfire night was my favourite night of the year. We had the whole street together, all of us. We were a real community. <laughs>